Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, allegations of police brutality surrounding this takedown at a local gas station. They beat him and they beat my son. That's why I came up there. These boys were thrown to the ground and punched repeatedly. This video is from last Saturday night, recorded at a Raceway gas station on Lem Turner Road, two miles from where police had raided a suspected street racing meetup at a local parking lot. And tonight, relatives of two of the men arrested say that the officers went too far. News from Jack's reporter Eric Avenet joining us live from JSO headquarters to break down the video. Eric, what are police saying about the video? Well, Kent, I, I uh, emailed unedited copies of those videos to the public information officer here, a public information office here at JSO headquarters. I also sent a separate email trying to get response from JSO, a response to those videos. Now, uh, so far, no one has gotten back with me as of yet. Uh, I will tell, let our viewers know that the videos uh, show a suspect on the ground being punched in the head and another clip of the suspect's mother's head being slammed into a brick wall. In this video, we see 29-year-old Jermaine Mitchell being wrestled to the ground by two police officers attempting to take him into custody. This happened at a Raceway gas station on Lim Turner Road Saturday night. According to this arrest report, police were conducting an investigation in the gas station parking lot that was connected to this police raid two miles away in this grocery store parking lot where suspected street racers were reportedly gathering. According to the arrest report, Mitchell was being trespassed and refused to provide identification to officers. Police say when they attempted to detain him, he resisted. Then he is seen being tackled to the ground. Moments later, while officers are on top of him, we see one officer punch Mitchell in what appears to be his head while the front of his body is facing the ground. The report states Mitchell continued to physically resist, so the officer struck him in the face to gain pain compliance. Moments later, his mother, Tanya Tyson, arrives. She sees what's happening to her son and appears to try and intervene as her son is being led away. Officers attempted to take her into custody, then moments later, we see this. When we slow that down, we see she appears to be slammed head first into a brick wall. They just snatched me up. All I want to know was well, why they grabbing my son, Jermaine Mitchell. Both mother and son were hauled off to jail. <laughs> Mitchell is friends with 22-year-old Andre Brown, who was also arrested that night at the same gas station. According to this arrest report, when police swarmed suspected street racers two miles away, Brown escaped, then led officers on a chase that ended at this gas station. Although we don't have a video of his arrest, his aunt says her nephew was also beaten by officers. And there were several witnesses, people that had nothing to do with street racing, that said that these young men were at this gas station and were not resisting arrest. So why were they punched? Why were they thrown to the ground? That's my question for JSO. Back here live, and according to that report, Brown resisted and was forced to the ground. Now, Brown's aunt is demanding JSO release all body cam videos uh, from that night because she wants the public to see uh, with their own eyes what she says actually happened uh, that night. Now, she says she can ex she can accept police going after street racers, but she says she cannot accept uh, police beating suspects. Reporting live from outside JSO headquarters, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.